Stitching and embroidery design with a computerized embroidery unit that attaches to your sewing machine is really very easy. It's the hooping and positioning that can be a little tricky. I'd like to share with you tips that streamline the hooping process. First, let's prepare the hoop. Now maybe you've never considered that before, but the inner and outer hoop need to hold that fabric and stabilizer very taut. So we have found that using the hoop grip tape, applying it to the outer edge of the inner hoop is very helpful. The hoop tape separates and the yellow part really is tossed away. It's just a paper covering and it exposes a tacky surface that is applied to the outside of the inner hoop. I have it in process right now and you release so a couple inches at a time and then apply it to the outer edge of the inner hoop. Keep applying and then as it reaches the starting point just cut the, the tape so that the edges kind of butt together and press down. This is not real tacky, it just gives a surface to make the fabric adhere to the hoop and get it really nice and smooth in the inside. Can't ignore the outer hoop, you may want to consider attaching a comfort grip to the screw area. It gives, it makes it a lot easier for you to tighten and of course loosen the screw. Now I'm going to loosen it a, a great amount because I'm going to do some test hooping first of all. Before I do that, let's talk a little bit about placement of the design. I'm going to show you two different placement ideas. First using templates. Printing with your computer using your embroidery software, you can print, print out the design. And you'll have the pretty design and then the chart that gives the color numbers and sequence. I'll just trim out the section on this from the translucent paper that uses you going to be using as a template. And then for this napkin that will be embroidered later, simply place it on the corner where, wherever I'd like it to be embroidered. And to place it you can use source fix it tape just to tack it down to the fabric. This is temporary until when you get after you get it hooped you'll be removing this section. Stabilizers are so important and we're going to back this with a stabilizer and then place it in the hoop. Now on the hoop, we're, I, you noticed I had it very loose. Well we're going to do this test run first of all. And the test run determines the, the tightness of the screw. So you have it very loose to begin with and you don't have to match it up this first time. Just press it in and it goes in very easily. But now righty tighty lefty loosey we'll tighten it up until it gets just the way you'd like it to be and then pop out that inner hoop. Then you can re-hoop it and it may seem like why are you doing this? Well you'll find that when I hoop it next it will be nice and smooth through the middle. But this time we're going to also take another step and that's to get the lines of the template aligned with the lines on the hoop, the little markings. Every hoop will be slightly different but we have the markings aligned together and then I'm working with a no slip hooping mat so that my hoop does not sc sc scoot all over the surface of my working area and then depress with the palm of your hand. This hooping mat has a little give in it and it's very smooth through this area. Then before doing the embroidery I would just remove this and I'd be ready to go. Now another way to work with hooping is to use the mat and the laser etched lines that are in this area. If you don't want to print out a template, you could simply mark on your fabric the center point where you'd like the design to be positioned and then press horizontally and press vertically or finger press. Lightly press or finger press. Now I'm going to place the hoop on the no slip hooping mat. I'll just place the inner hoop in position. Get the lines and the markings of the hoop aligned. Remove that inner hoop. It doesn't really shift because of the textured surface. Place the stabilizer down and then I'll keep this folded one more time. I'd mark, align the center mark at the point and let me flip this out so that I have this 
crosswise mark, the vertical mark, and I don't need a template because everything is aligned horizontally and vertically. Then, use the inner hoop again. It's at the same tightness that I had before. Use the palm of your hand and snug it into place. And the hoop mat makes it a little springy. And now it aligns, the markings align right with the lines in the interior of the inner hoop. So these are two ways to position your design when getting prepared to do the embroidery. Nancy's Notions offers a full selection of sewing notions to test out your new sewing, quilting, or embroidery skills. Order your supplies today.